Hello everyone, this is Black Pier. Today I'll be showing you guys my review of the Lord Limpy Games. Super Evolution have once again won Lord Limpy Games. Very well played Unity, very good job guys. I also want to give a big shout out to Unity as well. Done very well, put up a very good fight. Both guilds got maxed out points. Some people will be confused thinking is this a draw? In the case that both guilds get 100,000 points, the guild to get max points first is the winner. I know 100% that Super Evolution maxed out the points first which means as a result they are the winners of the Lord Olympia game. Um, this video might be coming out a little bit late, so you guys will definitely know by now that Super Evolution have won. Um, I want to mention about this video, it was supposed to be half an hour. I recorded a 30 minute video. This is a voiceover I'm doing on it by the way. Um, it wasn't originally. But um, this was originally a 30 minute video. But um, whenever I went to go edit the video, I found out that the screen recorder decided at 8 minutes it would like to just not record anymore. So um, we only got the first 8 minutes. I cropped it down a little bit more, down to about 7 minutes. Otherwise it would have just ended halfway through a match, which wasn't worth it. So um, this got me much shorter than I planned it to be. But um, best could get out in the... Really, as for I, I want to make sure I get a Lord Olympic Games review out, so this is what I got. So, I'm um, pretty much we're just going to show Ray's attack against the stronghold of Unity J. Um, check out my Ops to 3.0 YouTube social media groups. I have got Discord, Line, Regamers and Reddit. Make sure to go and join them all if you want to. It's a great way for subscribers or any of my viewers to interact with each other about the games. Clash Royale, Clash Wars 2 of course, everything else. If you guys enjoyed the rest of the video, make sure to like and subscribe and definitely hit that bell icon. I couldn't really go into strategies on all the gameplays anyway. There's really it's just Max and Light and Chrono, Max and Light and Pyreal. One game, the end. Literally it's just so overpowered Chrono Keeper especially. They're just so OP that it's not really much strategy being used anymore. I do notice one thing oh it's not Ray attacking him, sorry guys, I meant Ruthless. Ruthless attacking him. Um my bad. I uh, do have to mention one thing about Jay is I notice he's got a Storm Rider in his base. You don't usually see that anymore. You just really don't. Usually you see a uh, X Fan, Pencilia, Pyreal, Chrono Keeper, and a Rack Name most likely. Most likely around M5. He wears that combo, is usually what you will see. But, um, Jay has a Storm Rider, which I find quite strange really. I think that's quite a strange one, but I'd say it seems to work for him. Obviously, he got taken out, but I watched Ray's attack against the Stronghold Ark from Unity. Um, that was originally supposed to be in this video, but it's not anymore. Um, and Ray seemed to take a lot longer to take out Ark, who also had. Storm Rider is his bastion either. And um, then Ruthless took to take out a J. No, I'll get them on the round. Oh, no, I'm just mumbling now. Um I think I said that on the round. Basically I'm gonna say names. Ark had Storm Rider's Bastion and other heroes. He attacked, raised base 
and took him out a lot quicker than Ruthless took to take out the stronghold of Unity. That's what I'm trying to say. So, um, I'm not 100% sure on that though because I'm wondering is it just that Unity took a lot more attempts at trying to take out the bases so they had less HP left. Very likely that was probably the reason. Yeah, whatever the case, both players incredibly good players. Incredibly. Best in the world. And, um, yeah. Which Lord Limpy Games is this one? I think it's the 8th one? Is it the 8th Lord MP Games? I always get them wrong, which means I'm not going to put get their 8th Lord MP Games win because I don't know, that's sure. <laughs> I don't know how many have been. So, um, we're just going to keep the title of the video as Clark Wars 2 Lord Olympia Winners Super Evolution. Or something like that. So, um, as you can see, all the heroes being Joan, Storm Rider, and Exafander and Jay Stronghold, which I found weird. Um, I noticed that Ruthless used a Renny Van on attack. Enchant was Pennsylvania Pyro, yeah, good. Chrono Keeper, I don't see one, which is very strange. Very, very strange, I don't see any Chrono Keeper in there. Um, yeah, that's a key point to mention actually. Where is his corner keeper? He has a many van and tidal guardian in there instead of pretty much um, chrono keeper and arachne or extra van. Yeah, that's a weird one actually. Never really thought about that before. Hmm. Why would you use many van in your attack formation, especially if you're Ruthless has pretty much got most heroes at level 220 alignment. Why would you use RV? I don't know. That's an interesting one. Maybe someone will be able to answer it in the comment sections below. Yeah, I find that weird. I don't understand why you didn't use a Chrono Keeper. Hmm. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to Action in this video. The winners of Lord Olympia Warriors, Ring of Legends. Very well played to everyone in Ring of Legends. I am also in Ring of Legends, which is the reason why I'm making a keynote of it. Very nice guys in there. Um, we've also got Ring of Legends too, so come join that guild if you want to. And um, yeah, we done really well. So well done to everyone in Ring of Legends who helped bring the win home. Android English 2 server won Warriors and Summit. So well done all. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more Black Rose 2 content. So now, peace out.